Hello, chemistry students. Today we're going to be doing a Friedel Crafts isolation of an aromatic compound using acetyl chloride. The aromatic compound we're going to be using is toluene. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so to get started, we first have to set up our apparatus. And you can see here that we have our 20 mil round bottom with our Clayson adapter and our gas trap attached. We're next going to weigh out about 0.8 grams of aluminum chloride. I've already gone ahead and weighed out. So we're going to take our 0.8 grams of aluminum chloride, add it to our 20 mil round bottom flask. With that, we're going to add two milliliters of methylene chloride. and a stir bar. And we're gonna go ahead and get this stirring. Okay, now that we have this stirring, we're going to take 0 0.5 milliliters of acetyl chloride and add this slowly over two minutes to our round bottom flask. Okay, as that's mixing, we need to pre-weigh a three mil conical vial. Which I've done here. Okay, next we're gonna add 0 0.5 milliliters of toluene, our aromatic to our three mil conical vial. We're then gonna use our syringe to add the toluene to our round bottom flask. We're going to do this over about five minutes. Okay, after adding our 0 0.5 mils of toluene, we're going to rinse the three mil conical vial with one milliliter of methylene chloride. 
and then add that into the round bottom flask. Again, using the syringe. I'm now going to reweigh the conical vial after the addition of the one milliliter of methylene chloride to determine how much toluene we added. And then we're going to let our reaction mixture stir for 30 minutes. I had previously forgotten to weigh the vial with the cap. So this is the weight of the vial with the cap. So use this weight to determine how much toluene was added. Okay, so at this point, our reaction has been stirring for 30 minutes. So we can now remove the gas trap from the Clayson adapter. Then we're going to add four milliliters of ice cold water slowly over five minutes using our syringe. So we have some ice cold water here. And we'll be adding four milliliters of the ice cold water over about five minute period. Okay, so we've added all four milliliters of ice cold water over a five minute time period. We are next going to add four milliliters of concentrated hydrochloric acid. So here's our concentrated hydrochloric acid. We're going to add four milliliters and then we're going to stir vigorously to dissolve all the aluminum salts. We've added our four milliliters of concentrated hydrochloric acid. I'm going to turn the stirring up to stir vigorously and allow all the aluminum salts to dissolve. At this point, all of our aluminum salts have dissolved, so I'm going to discontinue the stirring and allow our layers to separate the organic and the aqueous. Our layers have separated. And you can see our layers have separated inside of the round bottom flask. So we're going to transfer the entire solution to a 15 mil conical tube.
Make sure to leave the stir bar behind. And once we transferred, we will again let the layers separate. Okay, so next we're going to transfer the organic layer, which is the bottom layer, to a five mil contact. We're being careful to make sure that we're not transferring any of the aqueous layer. Okay, so we've transferred our organic layer to the five mil conical vial. Okay, so you can see we've transferred the organic layer to the five mil conical vial. We're next going to add one milliliter of 5% sodium bicarbonate to our organic layer. And we'll cap, shake gently, and vent to release any carbon dioxide. And we'll continue this until we no longer see the formation of carbon dioxide. Okay, so the formation of carbon dioxide has stopped and you can see we have two layers again. We're going to be transferring the bottom organic layer to a clean, dry, three mil conical vial. Again, being careful not to transfer the aqueous layer. Okay, upon completion of transferring the organic layer to the three male conical vial, we're going to add three to four microspatula full scoops of sodium sulfate anhydrous to dry the organic layer. Now we'll let this organic layer dry for either 10 to 15 minutes or until the next lab period. Okay, so we have our organic product that's been drying with sodium sulfate. You can see that it's slightly colored. We're gonna try and remove some of that coloring by running it through a column with alumina. But before we do that, we need to weigh our collection vial that we'll be collecting the product in after it runs through the column. 
Okay, so we've weighed a vial that we will be collecting our product in. And this is the weight for our pre-weighed vial. Okay, so now we're going to be adding our colored organic product to our column with alumina and collecting it in our pre-weighed vial. Running our products through this alumina column should help remove some of the coloration that we have. Now we'll allow our product to collect in the pre-weighed conical vial. Okay, so we've completed running our products through the alumina column. At this point, we're gonna get set up to uh, evaporate the methylene chloride in a hot water bath. Okay, so at this point, we want to remove the methylene chloride from our product. So what we've done is we've set our conical vial with our product in a hot water bath, and then we're directing a stream of air into the conical vial to drive off that methylene chloride. And we'll continue driving off the methylene chloride until we reach a constant volume in our conical vial. This could take some time. Okay, so at this point, we've reached a constant volume. So we're going to go ahead and determine the weight of our final product. Okay, so the mass of our final product and the conical vial And then this is our IR spectra of our final product, which is 4-methylacetophenone. All right, we'll be using our final product from this, our 4-methylacetophenone, for our next experiment, which will be the synthesis of substituted chalcones.